How do I remove my AirPods from my iCloud account and transfer ownership? Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial. Today, we're going to walk you through the process of removing your AirPods from your iCloud account and transferring their ownership. This is especially important if you're planning to sell or give away your AirPods. What do you need to start? Before we start, make sure you have 1. Your AirPods 2. The device they are connected to, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch 3. Access to your iCloud account How to disconnect AirPods from your Apple device First things first, you need to disconnect your AirPods from your Apple device. Here are the steps. 1. On your Apple device, go to Settings. 2. Tap on Bluetooth. 3. Find your AirPods on the list of devices and tap on the I icon next to it. 4. Select Forget This Device and Confirm. This step disconnects your AirPods from your device but doesn't remove them from your iCloud account yet. Let's move on to that. How to remove AirPods from your iCloud account now, let's remove your AirPods from your iCloud account. 1. Go to Settings on your Apple device. 2. Tap on your name at the top, which takes you to your Apple ID overview. 3. Select Find My. 4. Select Find My iPhone. 5. Select Devices. 6. Find your AirPods in the list and tap on them. 7. Scroll down and select Remove This Device. Your AirPods should now be removed from your iCloud account. How to prepare AirPods for the new owner Last but not least, let's prepare your AirPods for the new owner. Here is what you need to do. 1. Put your AirPods in their case and close the lid. 2. Wait for about a minute, then open the lid. 3. Press and hold the setup button on the back of the case until the status light flashes amber, then white. This step resets your AirPods to factory settings. And there you have it. You've successfully removed your AirPods from your iCloud account and reset them, so they're ready for their new owner. Remember, always disconnect and remove devices from your iCloud account before you pass them on to ensure your personal data stays secure. I hope this tutorial has been helpful, and stay tuned for more useful tips.